Hello and welcome back. Today I have the world's smallest thermal camera and it is sent to me by uh, Thermal Master and it's called the P2 Pro but also it has a micro lens. Looking at the specifications it must be super small with only 9 grams. Uh, the micro lens is uh, with the magnet so it's easy on and off. It can go above 1100 degrees. 15 times zoom, uh, 265 by 192, that's very high resolution. So that will make it great for night vision, for temperature leakage in your house, and with the micro lens PCB inspection. There is an Android version with the USB-C and there is this iPhone version. I have the iPhone version here. It's for the older modern iPhones, but also my iPhone 7 here will also uh, still work. So let's open the box. They did that very nicely. It is from the brand uh, Thermal Master. The P2 Pro, and I think it says Pro because of the micro lens. They did this very nicely, I must say. And here we have it. It is super small. And here we have the micro lens. And yeah, it just clicks on, clicks off. Very nice. The testing I did was with my newer iPhone, I think a 12 or a 13, but it will work also on the 7 right here. And you just click it in the bottom like this, but then of course it's facing you. But you can also just turn it around and then it will be facing the other. I almost missed it, but it comes even with some extra accessories. And if you don't want to click it directly onto your phone or you have a very big cover that it doesn't work, you can use these adapters. So instead of plugging it direct, you plug it in here. And then you can plug the camera here. And then it's a lot easier to check your components. And it even seems to have an adapter for USB-C. Look at this. We have the Temp Master up right there. We open it, it needs to do a small calibration. Well, here it will explain. But I just like to start. Okay. And we have the camera. Yes. And it will calibrate right now. By default, it's in its uh, black and white uh, mode. Yeah. But we can change uh, the colors if we want. So first I started playing with a hot tea and a cold coke. And I was amazed about the resolution. And then I said, oh wait, maybe because it was sitting there already for a minute. When I move the cups, can we still see the footprint? So if the device is that sensitive, I thought, okay, then I'm going to walk around the house. It's winter time. My heater is on. I have central heating system. So that means I have uh, just the pipes with water and maybe I'm able to detect that. So I go to one of my radiator and I make this picture. Well, you could actually see that the heat was going up up the wall. You could see it was all lighted up, but also you could see where the pipes were. Well, you can't even see it because it's in the floor. And then you can see actually the pipe. So then I thought, okay, I go to my office. I know somewhere in the floor there are heating pipes, but the radiator is all the way in the end. So I made a picture of the floor and look what we saw. Wow, I can see my heat water pipes in the floor and it's just about below 60 degrees because of course when it goes through the house the temperature drops a little bit and uh, then I thought okay if it's that sensitive I like to see in my door 
just my outside door to see where the heat is leaking. Well, clearly around the edges of the window, there is a leakage or a little loss at least of heat because we can actually see that on the picture. So what you could do, you can use this really for uh, thermo loss. If you just go around your house and you can try to see where your heat is going out. And I tried also, what if in the night I lose my dog, he was sleeping. It was still a little bit lighted, but I made the picture and it just lights up. I hope later in the night I can make also like night fishing. But most of my viewers probably want to see, okay, show me the PCB inspection. Can we see some heat? Well, I hear a little noise source with the dummy load. It has been running for 10 minutes, so it will probably be warm already. So let's see what that looks like. It's open. Let's see that there's a thermal image. So it is great for PCB diagnostics if you want to see which component is hot. If you want to zoom in because the components are so small, then you put the micro lens in and it can even come closer. I just picked up my old iPad and I used the extension cable that came with it. And look at this, it just works. And then you have it on the big screen. And what about the advanced features? Well, I have it now on my iPad with the extension cable and you can even turn the screen as you like and mirror also. Uh, but more important, if you are a more advanced user and you want more reflective uh, surfaces also to scan, you can change here your The people from Thermal Master gave me a discount code that you can use on their website and they give you a $50 discount. And that is during the Black Friday. And for them, this promotion starts from November 21 until December the 2nd. So if you are interested, this is your chance. Of course, I leave it down below. And maybe you think hey, it looks a lot like the Infiray P2 Pro. They look quite the same, but that's the first thing I said also to Thermal Master, but I say, no, this is really their own development. We can check if the weight is the same, just to be sure. This is an uncalibrated scale, but we do get an idea. I will zero it. Then we get the Infiray. The Infiray is like 16 grams. And uh, it is one gram of difference. So there is something different. Let's do it without the lens. Without the lens, the Infiray 1043, the Thermal Master 1033.3 grams of a difference. So there is something different there. The micro lens I use is a different lens. That's it, the Thermal Master P2 Pro with micro lens. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.